Hey viewers, welcome to VL Astrology once again. I'm Manita Lenka. I'm a Vedic astrologer. And today I'm going to be talking about the 37th week of the year 2021. Really rough years we have had. But we must understand that the wheel that is right now down is going to be coming up as well. Everything is cyclic. So don't worry. Everything shall pass. And we all will be happy. And actually not living with this fear, right, very soon. So what is going to be happening this week, I'm going to be sharing with you. It's based on moon's interaction with all the other planets, it moves uh, through all the 12 zodiac signs during the month and interacts with each planet at least once. Okay, so I'll be sharing that. And if you're watching me for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and do hit the like button as well, if you like it towards the end. So the predictive that I'll be covering in the next segment, before uh, to that, I'll be sharing the, the summary and the highlights and what does this uh, transit of moon uh, mean? Uh, how is it going to be interacting with the planets and what does that mean on the mundane level? So that I'll be sharing. And second, uh, the second, the letter segment would be on the predictions based on your ascendant or the moon sign. So let's start the video. Yes, this is from the 6th to the 12th of September. And moon will be interacting with planets this week. Yes, it's not going to be uh, moving through the empty houses where the planets are not there. So this week from 6th to 7th, we have a new moon that is going to be in Leo sign. So moon is going to be with sun on the 6th and the 7th. So this is the Bhamavati Amavasya, the new moon. And on the 8th, 9th and 10th half day as well, we have moon in Virgo sign. And we have Mercury and Mars waiting for this moon to welcome this moon. Um, and Rahu is aspecting the zone, not to forget that. And previously, Jupiter was aspecting that zone. In Libra sign, moon will be transiting on the 11th and 12th. Venus also has transited through Libra sign on the 6th. So this Venus is going to be welcoming this moon and is going to be aspected by Saturn as well. So these are the moon's movement and interaction with other planets. Uh, I'll share with you what exactly all these planetary positions mean. And we have on the 6th, two planets are changing signs. Very important videos. I have already made one video. I'll be sharing with you the next one. That is Mars movement in the, uh, you know, in Virgo sign from the 6th of September soon. Uh, when I'm uploading this video, maybe. But if you're watching me later, so maybe I have already up uploaded that video. So Venus in Libra, I've already made. And uh, you can go back and watch that video. It's a very important transit again, because it's going to be in its own Mutrikona Rashi after all. So very, very positive transit. I've already made the video. Please go back and watch 6 September to the 2nd of October. We have Ganesha Chaturthi on the 10th of uh, September, a very, very important uh, you know, a festival uh, for India. And we have uh, Hartalika Tij on the 9th of September. We have, um, let me see what all we have this ma month this week we have uh, shashti on the 11th of um, september so i think uh, these are the festivals which are, we are going to be covering and of course the uh, most important part is that we have new moon this week as well uh, and two planets changing signs big it's huge so <clears throat> these are going to be the positions <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so these are the positions of the week and very importantly, that there is uh, some new beginnings, some opportune times that you're heading to with all these positions. Moon is going to be in conjunction with sun, which means that you're going to be feeling that, uh, you know, uh, you are, uh, your emotions, definitely you come to know more. Try avoid, um, you know, um, avoiding getting overreactive during this phase. Uh, during the 6th and the 7th especially, because it's right um, with this sun. But yes, this is going to be a very positive, uh, uh, you know, start because you're going to be taking up something, uh, some undertaking, some kind of, uh, you know, support system that you're going to be getting into. Uh, you'll be receiving and you'll be 
actually giving support to others also. It's, it's, it's actually the balance kind of a week. You're going to be very creative also because it's happening in the Purva Palguni Nakshatra, this uh, uh, transit of uh, this new moon. Uh, and it's going to be aspect, this moon is going to be aspected by this Jupiter also during this time. So which gives you um, actually, you know, a lot of abundance, you know, and the con consequences are pretty positive of whatever, you know, you're uh, at, you know, if you're doing something, it's going to be very positive for you again. Then moon is going to be conjunct Mercury and Mars during this time. So you're going to be quite social, quite communicative. And you might just get into any kind of uh, new things, you know, beginning of new things. Maybe you're going to be writing, you're going to be doing something about your connectivity with people also. Then with Mars, um, because Mars is also transiting through a Virgo sign this week. So you're going to be having a lot of confrontation. You might lose your cool in communication because Mercury and Mars combination with moon, that's quite volatile. So you might lose your cool, you might be, um, you know, lacking that risk taking ability in you because moon and Mars, as you know, uh, they, uh, Mars debilitates in moon signs. So when it's conjunct moon, so the warrior becomes very emotional. So the emote that you're carrying would be uh, quite irritable also for you. Quite a challenging uh, combination though. But yeah, you're going to be very, uh, feeling very, uh, you know, physically active and charged up and sexually quite voracious as well. Then moon will be conjunct Venus towards the fag end of the week and will be aspected by Saturn also. And will be also aspected by uh, this Jupiter uh, till the time Jupiter is in Aquarius. So this is the time when you will be actually uh, working on your relationships. You're going to be having some new friendships, start of new friends, friendship also. Your desires are going to be fulfilled and you feel that you'll be, you want to be pampered. You want to pamper others. You want to do good to others also because of the Jupiter's aspect. And you have certain, uh, you know, favorable circumstances coming your way during this week. So look at the bigger picture and complete what you are actually thinking of doing. With Saturn, of course, you might work overtime. You feel that, you know, your finances are getting depleted too uh, uh, quickly. So you feel quite, um, you know, uneasy during the Saturn's aspect because Saturn is slow moving planet and moon is the fast, fastest and swiftest. So these are two opposite, opposite energies, which makes you feel a little, bit, little uncomfortable because of that. But yes, this week, is uh, bringing about some major, major things because Venus is going to be in a positive place and Mars is going to be in a negative place because Mars and Mercury, as you all know, they are not friends. So that's something which can cause some kind of communication problems with each other. So you have to be taking care. Uh, also, you know, on the mundane level, these kind of uh, transits, you know, which are happening, they are not considered to be good as far as communication is concerned, the leaders are concerned, your health is concerned. So these con conditions can lead to um, some, uh, you know, health issues. But at the same time, you will have health issues, but they, you will find the cure also because Mars in the sixth sign of the natural zodiac gives you uh, litigation, gives you loans, gives you enemies, uh, gives you health issues, diseases. But at the same time, that actually gives you that courage and that power and that immunity level uh, and that uh, boldness to combat these issues as well simultaneously, okay? That is why in the Okshaya houses, these malefics are considered to be good. And Mercury as it is, is exhorted here. So Mercury feels quite, uh, analytic, um, uh, quite analytical and quite meticulous in the sign of Virgo. That's its own sign also and exaltation sign as well. So this is the week. Uh, so just uh, uh, let's all of us pray to Lord Hanuman and uh, do the Hanuman Chalisa, Hanuman chants. So this will be definitely a positive, positive week. All right. So let's start with, as I, as I do, you know, always I share the screen, right? So that is the pictorial form so that, you know, it becomes easier for you all to understand the charts as well. So... Here we go. We have uh, to start with um, Aries natives first. 
So for Aries people, this week moon is going to be in your fifth, sixth and seventh houses. So to start with, you will have that, uh, you know, quite a lot of charged up energy. In, uh, you will be very uh, focused on your creative energies, progeny. You will be thinking of your career and finances a lot. You will be abundantly showered with all those energies as well. So anything that you want to pick up and to start, you should be doing it in the beginning of the week. That's really very positive for, uh, for the children also, for student natives also, in case you're going to be sitting for any competitive exam. So you should be taking it up on the 6th and the 7th. Very positive. Also, uh, you know, we have <clears throat> in relationships, this is a very positive time because Venus is going to be transiting out of the debilitation sign and will be entering your 7th house. So this definitely will be bringing about some positive uh, positivity to your relationship, some uh, sensual uh, sensuality attached to your relationship. You will feel quite uh, attracted to your partner or you will be meeting some potential partner when moon is also in Libra sign towards the end. But during the middle of the week, when moon is conjunct this Mercury and Mars in your sixth house, that's the time you have to be taking care of your um, ego clashes, your communication gap you can have. Also, it can lead to some kind of litigation as well. So you have to be really careful because Rahu energy is also passed on to the zone. Rahu, Mars, Mercury, all these are actually volatile kind of energies. So it can lead to some vocal, <clears throat> you know, you, you can have some speech disorders, you can have some dental issues, you can also have some blood related disorders also with Mars in the sixth house. But at the same time, Mars is going to give you that kind of energy where you can combat the diseases that you're going through. You're, you can come out of the problems that you are facing. And uh, if you have to repay your loans or the debts that you're in. So this will be also a very positive week in case you have to. Uh, then for, for travel purposes, I feel that this is uh, the week when you will be thinking of or you will be taking up some short journeys when a moon is conjunct Venus by the end of the week, that is from the 11th to the 12th. That's the time when you should be actually, in case you are thinking of any kind of travels, planning any travels, you should be actually executing them during that time. Also, your, uh, you know, you might uh, come across some, uh, you might have some guests coming home uh, by the middle of the week, maybe, you know, you, you're, this week you, you will meet your uncle, your aunts, and maybe, you know, you will be actually striking some kind of conversation with them and taking it to the next level. Maybe they will be actually helping you out with solving your issues that you're going through. Investments definitely on cards in case you have to uh, go in for some major uh, startups or some kind of arrangements that you're making already. So that's going to be also taking place. Uh, good for engineers, good for the people who are in the oil industry. This week is definitely going to be helpful for you. Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, anything that is related to your investment stocks this week is quite uh, an elevating kind of a week because Mercury is in dignity. Uh, with Mars energy, you have to be little, uh, you know, you have to go a little slow on those on those lines. Uh, health is going to be definitely, you will be able to come out of the problems that you're having, the health issues you are having with this Martian energy here. All right, coming to the next sign that is Taurus. So for Taurus natives, moon will be transiting through your fourth, fifth and sixth houses this week. Your energy is pretty emotional, but to start something new, something maybe, you know, some kind of jobs that you have to get done, you know, some renovation, some redoing of your furniture, um, anything that you want to do, uh, you know, as far as your decor is concerned, you can do it when moon is in your fourth house, that is sixth, uh, seventh, that is also the new moon. So that is the time when you will feel the energy even more. You will feel the positive energy, I would say, even more to do things you, you feel because we have Ganesha Charurthi also. So that's very positive for you in case you, you know, you uh, not just you for everyone. So you should propitiate Lord Ganesha, chant Ganesha chants. This definitely is going to be very positive for one and all. Also, we have um, Mars and Mercury and Moon combination this week, and you will be feeling 
quite charged up there is a lot of energy you uh, you know you you can be very um, emotional at the same time you can be losing your cool or cool also and you should avoid confrontations with your children especially in your love relationship also you should avoid confrontation because it's in the fifth house which is happening so all this is definitely going to be giving you some adventure some challenges at the same time some uh, breaking of the routine things also this week you're going to be feel inclined towards personal communication social discourse sharing all those ideas that you're having you will be actually putting them forward it is a very positive transit for the career goals that you have set if this week is going to be bringing about some uh, optimistic energy because of jupiter's aspect also on your fourth house zone so from the 10th so you you will be having some kind of promotion some activities at the place of work uh, some differences will be actually sorted out you know that you're having with your bosses or your seniors you have been going through a lot of um, you know uh, some clashes that you have al already been in they are going to get better they're going to get resolved they're going to get sorted this week so uh then moon will be uh, lastly with venus so that's the time when you know in the sixth house the so sixth house energy will be giving you some kind of uh, uh you know uh, meticulously planning your uh, uh, you know organizing your work you will be actually uh, maintaining some kind of uh, uh you know planner uh, you know okay this week i am going to be doing this uh, maybe you're going to be taking some vehicle loan you're going to be buying some new vehicle so that's the time you can do that litigation some litigation some papers some documentation you have to do you will be doing it by the end of the week um at the place of work you will be forming some kind of connectivity because jupiter is also looking at your 6th house zone so that's an expansive energy whatever you uh, whatever workouts you have to do whatever uh, uh, fitness regime you have to take up you will be some kind of grooming you want to do you can do that this week as well um rahu is over your first house you know don't behave indifferently with your partner don't feel detached with your partner maybe you know you feel that you know you you become very self centric you know when rahu is over your first house so that energy is also going to be quite predominant this week because rahu is going to be looking at your fifth house as well so uh, that's not considered to be good for children uh, and the child birth so you have to be taking care because rahu is so do not get carried away in making any kind of uh, you know decisions that you are having uh, you're going to be making any kind of decisions or any kind of uh, you know negative negative uh, if you're feeling some negative impact negativity around you in your relationship so that is because of this rahu energy but you have to sort it out okay it will get sorted um saturn is also going to be looking here in your 7th uh, house so that is also going to be giving you some kind of uh, inclination towards meticulous planning some strict re regime you you're going to be opting for that's positive all right uh, coming to the next sign that is gemini so for gemini natives uh, this week is going to be uh, quite a uh communicative uh, focus Com you're very communicative you're going to be focusing more on your growth as well uh you are thinking of new projects you're thinking of some kind of connectivity with people around you you're thinking of uh travels you're thinking of uh you're thinking of some travels planning some uh you know place change maybe you are shifting out from the place you are living in so a lot of contemplation of all sorts is going on mars being in your fourth house uh though i will be making a separate video on that you will be focused on the real estate issues you'll be resolving those kind of issues you know maybe you are going to be traveling you're going to be talking about uh selling off your property or buying new property quite likely a uh, very positive transit for you also um we have ganesha chaturthi you know ganesha chaturthi you should do ganesha chants uh you should do om gang gang patay namo namaha om uh, that is a very important uh, chant you should be doing also you know regarding your education you will be initiating something you know in case you have to take ganesha's name 
to start with and go ahead with it. It's definitely going to be giving you all sorts of success that you're looking at. Um, Rahu energy gives a little bit of uh, you know connectivity with the foreigners, maybe some overseas connection you're going to be getting that. You'll be forming some kind of connectivity with the overseas people even more during this time. Uh, especially this week, because, you know, there is a lot of connectivity with Rahu, Mars, Mars being the Lord of the 11th also, 6th also. So you are going to be quite sporty, you're going to be putting a lot of energy in your work and channelizing your, uh, you know, streamlining everything. So that meticulously doing things, whatever you have to do it this week, very positive. Also, Mercury is there, so maybe you will be, uh, you know, redoing your pace, you're going to be uh, starting to uh, write something, you know, you're going to be very communicative with the people around you, with your family, you're going to be talking about or uh, discussing things, um, planning something in the future. So you are going to be quite connected to your family members. Um, you have to take care of your lower abdominal region also, and your blood related issues, or your mother's health, because Mars in the fourth house gives some kind of issues to mother, you know, or maybe issues with the mother. Maybe you're going to be having some kind of lack of communication with your mother also, quite likely. So be, be positive and uh, relax. Do not lose your cool um, and stay connected with your home, home family, okay? the close-knit family you are with. So that is also very positive for you uh, if you are spending more time at home. You can pursue your hobbies this week in case you want to start something, some new business, some uh, you know investments. You can be doing that as well. Litigation is not a good time because sixth house has K2. So this can bring about a lot of disturbances in your uh, at your place at the place of work also. Uh, and also, you know, when you're planning something about your litigation, about loans, diseases. This gives diseases also in the sixth house, but it helps you combat those diseases as well. But you have to be extra cautious when you're making decisions regarding your career, your finance, uh, with K2 energy here, looking at your second house. So it curtails actually. K2 detaches you from a particular zone, similar to Saturn basically. Saturn also is cold. K2 is also detaching. Though it said that Saturn and Rahu are similar and Ketu and Mars are, Ma Ketu is sudden. It's, it suddenly will take, uh, take away something from you. So you won't even have that kind of time to understand what happened. And that's why the accidents are also denoted by this Ketu. So drive carefully, be careful about your health during this time. All right. Coming to the next sign that is. coming to Cancer. So for Cancer natives, this week, Moon is going to be in your second, third, and fourth houses. So this is a very positive uh, week for, uh, you know, for making any kind of decisions related to your finances, to your friends, to your family, your travels, and your home, home family, and home front as well, in case you want to move out by vehicle. So you can be doing that this week as well. But this is a very good time if you're thinking of investments, you're parking your funds somewhere or putting them somewhere, you know, where you, you feel that the money is going to grow. So that is also very, very positive This for that reason. This week is very positive for that reason as well. So in case you feel that you are having some kind of issues with your siblings, communication gap is building up. So this is a week you can just sort that out, just sort it out and be on the friendly plane. Do not, do not at any cost lose your cool. Otherwise, this will be a very difficult time for you. Um, you know, whatever you will give, you will be getting back as well the same. So just make sure that you give love to people around you, do things which are, which are line pending, uh, start uh, coming out of that zone of procrastinating basically. So that will help you. Um, very good time to get connected uh, with your partner, relationship-wise, it's a good transit. Maybe you're going to be 
moving out of the place you are living right now. Shifting is on cards. Not a good time for getting into any romantic relationship right now. Ketu is in the fifth house. There can be that you break up with your partner and then you regret. So uh, either if you are already in a relationship, so be there, or uh, you if you have to start a new relationship, if you're going to be proposing somebody, then be prepared that there can be rejection also. So that is something you have to be very careful about. Rahu is in your 11th house. People who love you, you feel they're going to be backstabbing you. So this can give you some kind of setback as well. So make sure that you, if you are investing, park your funds properly, channelize, think about growth, not that you become very, um, uh, you know, just goal-centric and self-centric. So you have to be growing uh, with people around you. Don't think about yourself only. And growth definitely is on cards this week. I feel that there, there are things which you have not been able to complete. You'll be completing this week and there is a lot of satisfaction that you'll be attaining. Soul satisfaction, as we say. Um, also, you know, it is very good time for being uh, the research-oriented you. So that is also going to be giving you some kind of inclination towards uh, occult sciences, or maybe, you know, you will be getting into the, uh, you know, uh, some new subjects that you're going to be learning. So that is also quite likely. Okay. So health wise, uh, you have to take care of your dental issues. You have to take care of your lower abdominal region as well. Some kidney issues you can have. You can develop some indigestion also. So make sure that you're going for the checkups thoroughly. All right. Things are going to improve for sure. Okay. Coming to the next sign, that's Leo. So for Leo natives, uh, the new moon is taking place over your first house. We have Ganesha Chaturthi also. We have Venus transiting out of the Virgo sign to Libra. And we have Mars coming out of the Leo sign to the Virgo sign. So this is a week full of many things happening. So there is a lot of energy this week. You can go a little egocentric. You can be very uh, focused on yourself, on grooming yourself, some new beginnings on cards, something fresh that you're thinking of from a long time. You will be going through that. Also, this can bring about some change in your profession career also. This is the week when you will be thinking of some kind of change which you have been waiting for. And that's going to be really, really positive. So in case you have to make any kind of decisions related to that, go ahead with it. It's going to be definitely helpful. Also, there can be that new money cycle during this week is going to start. Some new business, maybe some new proposals, some financial opportunities that are going to be coming your way. In case you're having some kind of behavioral problems that you have to actually modify and you have to work through those uh, mood swings of yours as well. There can be some issues that you have to sort out at the domestic front and uh, maybe some friend of yours is coming home and solving certain things that you have been going through, some problems that you have been going through. So it's going to be definitely a very uh, happening kind of a week for you. Some travels on cards, short journeys, in case you have to take short journeys. I'm not saying that going from your home to the workplace and back, that is short journeys. No, short journeys is uh, that you take a road trip, you know, maybe you go for a day or two, take a day off. That is also quite likely because Venus is in your third house of travels, travels, hobbies, some kind of, uh, you know, that's a subconscious mind imagination. So all those are those ideas that you're having, you're keeping to yourself. Maybe you will, you will be bringing those out and you'll be implementing them at the place of work as well. Something very different, something very unique that you are thinking and you're going to be actually helping others also because of this. Uh, you have uh, Jupiter looking at this zone, looking at your Venus also. So this is a very expansive kind of an, uh, energy and very positive, optimistic week for that reason also. You are going to be maybe, um, you know, <clears throat> thinking of um, striking a conversation with your sister or your brother. You're going to be having some kind of communication, starting something uh, to write, planning something to write. Good week for you that for that reason as well. Purchasing of property, 
not a good idea right now. But selling off the property in case you have not many, uh, you know, real estate. So maybe, you know, you, you are a, a agent. So that is also going to be very positive and you're going to be making a good chunk of money this week. Maybe some disposal of property is happening and you get some good amount of money. So definitely positive. Health issues, I can uh, just say that be careful about your mouth region and also what you eat because Mars is going to be transiting your second house. So you have to avoid heaty, oily foods. You can be maybe having a lot of non-vegetarian food and you have some indigestion. So be careful. Everything in moderation is good, fair enough. But anything going beyond that might give you some troubles. Mouth region, face region, skin rashes, all these you have to be extra careful about. Overall, I feel this is a very positive week and it's going to be giving you some kind of relief that you have been looking for with Venus coming out of your second house and transiting through your third. Um, coming to the next sign, that is <clears throat> Virgo. So for Virgo natives, this week moon is going to be in your 12th, 1st, and second houses. So uh, when moon is in the 12th house, it's the cycle which is coming to an end. So moon moon is, you know, the mind. And when the cycle is coming to an end, maybe you will not feel like sleeping. You don't get sound sleep. We have a, a new moon also in your 12th house. So this is like, you know, your focus is uh, too much on your um, completion, you know, completion and beginning of the new things, your tasks, what do you want to complete? You're looking for the opportune time. You're looking for those few resolutions now. So things seem to play in your style. So you don't have to stress to strain, basically. The inner harmony you experience now is reflected to your outer experience. And that actually contributes to your personal success. You could experience some change or undergo inner changes, stimulating yourself, some undertaking, relationship, attitude change. All those can just trigger up with this new moon energy. You act with more confidence actually with, uh, than you should when sun and moon are together because, you know, you're mentally very strong because you're with the king, right? How do you feel with the king? You know, when you're sitting with the king, you feel very confident, isn't it? So you feel that energy is pretty high and that inner peace, that balance that you have been looking for is definitely going to be enhancing those things, those energies as well. The moon is going to be in your, um, uh, you see, in your <clears throat> first house and then lastly in the second. So <clears throat> this will be giving you smooth communication with people, a um, lot of boldness, uh, in your speech, you'll be very courageous this week. In case you have to make any kind of, uh, you know, uh, decision making at the place of work, change of job, or any kind of promotion you have to ask for, some raise you have to ask for, so you will get that energy. Communication as well as boldness, these two are going to be together with Moon. So mentally, you're going to be feeling very charged up and you're going to be communicating that boldly and you will be getting that success also. So conversation or thoughts, you know, about your past can also come up. So your mind is more receptive and alert than usual during this time. You might find yourself uh, quite busy, busy doing and completing things. So this is quite a week where, you know, it's a hectic week for you. I would say in case you have to go in for some kind of enhancement uh, or con communication this week. So this is a very positive one. Um, don't just lose your cool. Don't get into any kind of uh, adventure or confrontation or, you know, um, drive safely, I would say. So all these can, you know, get a little bit haywire in case your communication, you know, you're going to be confronting people more argumentative view. So you have to be taking care of this. This can become a very challenging period as well. The moon will be with Venus and that is the time when you will be focusing more on the relationship. You will be more on the pleasurable side of life. You don't be too indulgent and uh, just pamper yourself, pamper your desires in case you have any. Your happy feelings, you know, to do good to others, to do good to yourself is going to be giving you that uh, enhancement in your, yourself as well. 
you will attract positive energy this week. So that's very positive. In case you have to go in for some kind of litigation, some court case, so this definitely is going to be a good time. You might be going in for some property purchase also. Real estate issues are going to get sorted. Children are going to be actually getting some good results, some competitive success also. Some university they have to enroll, some subjects that they were looking forward to, they were not getting. So now they're going to be getting those as well. So this is a very, very positive week because Mars, Mercury are on your first house. And Mercury being the Lagnesh on the first house, definitely you will be taking decisions very boldly to so utilize this transit, all right? And the immunity levels are definitely going to be very positive and very, very strong. So you will be definitely feeling quite charged up this week. So a lot of work, but at the same time, a lot of stamina also. Uh, in case you have to go in for education, in case you have to go in for some new relationship, bonding with your partner, so this is definitely a week that you should be going in for. You have Ganesha Chaturthi. You definitely should chant Ganesha chant. Om Gangan Patay Namo Namaha. I close it with the Om. Om Gangan Patay Namo Namaha. Om. All right. That's how you should close and chant. For Libra natives, Moon is going to be in your 11th, 12th and 1st houses. So your focus mainly is on communicating with your community that you move around in. So maybe you're going to be meeting them, you're going to be in a get together, you come across new proposals, influential people you meet up. So this is the time when you have to set up those meetings uh, back to back, you know, on the sixth and the seventh. Utilize this because this is the actually foundational phase towards uh, success, towards the next project that you have been waiting for, towards the next level to go. So you have to actually lay the foundation first. So when Sana is in Leo, Moon is also there, so your mind is illuminated. You have a lot of energy and that power to see through things. So this is the time when you will be going in for some investments, some new connectivity. People with, uh, will be coming to your rescue, will be helping you, giving you a helping hand. Definitely a very positive one. Your Venus is on your first house. I've already made the video on the Venus transiting through Libra signs. Please go back and watch that. This is again a very positive week. And the energies of the first house, grooming yourself, looking good, paying attention to yourself, to your health, all those are getting enhanced with moon also transiting through this zone. Okay, so whenever moon is interacting with the planets, it is not going to be a stagnant kind of, of or, or a static kind of a phase because moon is the swiftest. And when it touches all the planets, it changes things. Everything changes. Because of this moon, your mindset changes. Last week, I was very upset. This week, I'm not losing my temper at all. How? Why? That's something that you have to uh, understand yourself. Okay? It's because of the moon's position, your mind. You lose your mind at times. You lose your cool at times. So all those energies definitely, uh, that's the reason every week is so different. So we have to understand moon's position and interaction with the other planets. So moon is definitely in dignity. Take care of your mother's health, of course, during the first, uh, you know, two days of the week. Rest, I think it is going to be getting towards better. Financials are definitely de depleting because of K2 energy in the second house. But that will also be taken care of uh, once uh, Jupiter is, you know, in dignity as well in the Kendra uh, in, from November onwards because Jupiter is going to be uh, moving backwards in the fourth house of yours on the 14th. So when Jupiter finally enters Aquarius, then it will be in Kendra from Ketu. Things are going to definitely be optimistic and things are going to be better from what they are right now. So this week, definitely we have a lot of things to do. Uh, maybe going uh, in seclusion mode and writing a book maintaining a journal, maybe thinking about or contemplating on things that you have not been able to plan the whole week long. So this is the time maybe you'll be in that closure and you will be doing things which actually help you grow. Okay, so this is a very positive time for you. For Scorpio natives, uh, Scorpio natives ruler is Mars. So we have to see the Mars's condition also. We have to see how well placed is Mars. Mars is in the 11th house. After all, so this is a very positive 
very positive transit for Scorpio natives as well. So when you feel like, uh, you know, parking your fund somewhere, taking care of your money, your friends, you should seek advice from the um, experts. Don't depend on your own people, your own friend circle, especially because, you know, what will happen, they will just try to help you out. But actually, you feel that they are misleading you or at the end of the day, you lose a lot of money. So you have to take the advice of the experts before going into the realms of those, uh, you know, investments, stocks, shares, crypto, whatever you wish to do. So money and uh, out of money, you make more money. So that is because of this Lagnesh going to the 11th house. So definitely a very positive week. Your partner might become a little indifferent to, towards you this week. So just lie low, just maintain that calmness, that peace. Do the Ganesha chant. Om Kangan Patai Namo Namaha Om. This is a very positive chant, a very powerful chant, and it will give you a lot of strength also. Okay. Don't wear any gemstones right now because... Mercury is in the 11th house of yours. So not a good time for that. Uh, some kind of litigation or some kind of uh, passionate relationship, you know, physical relationship with your partner is also visible. And uh, disposal of property is also, you know, quite likely. Uh, in case you are already having some litigation, some, you have to resolve some issues. So that can also be resolved after Mars enters Virgo sign. So definitely a positive one. And Saturn being in the third house will be giving you some kind of detachment, uh, you know, with your uh, siblings, with your neighbors, maybe neighbors are just troubling you. All those things are going to be quite likely, quite possible. Okay. Coming to the next sign that is Sagittarius. For Sagittarius natives, Moon is going to be transiting your ninth and, and 11th houses this week. So ninth house transit, of course, the luck lord is there in the luck house. So you will be feeling quite charged up, very positive after the new moon, especially you feel that you can do wonders. You have a lot of courage. You feel so energetic. So you're going to be enjoying that phase even more. With, um, uh, you know, Moon transiting through your 10th house, you will feel that there is a lot of, uh, you know, attachment to your work. You're paying a lot of attention to your work. You, you have a lot of time to uh, do things and sort out things and streamline them, organize things. So when moon is in your 10th house, you should not get aggressive with your seniors, with your co-workers. Maintain that cordiality and people will definitely listen to you and people will definitely uh, get, uh, you know, whatever you want to you know they will complete the task that you are maybe they will be helping like helping hands that you'll be getting um this can lead to some kind of uh, uh you know job proposal coming your way this week also there can be some profile or portfolio change also that you can anticipate with this combination uh venus is in the 11th house so uh this gives you a lot of concern uh, about your uh, older siblings and maybe you will be getting connected with your community that you are moving around in, some investments on cards this week. Good for relationship, initiation of relationship in case you want to propose to your uh, per uh, the person that you have been dating or you have been seeing. So maybe you will be doing it when Venus is in your 11th house. That's positive, actually. It's entering uh, on the 6th of September till the, 20, uh, till the 2nd of October. So this is a very positive time for you. So you realize it in case you want to initiate any kind of new relationship. And um, uh, you can do uh, Ganesha chants. I've, I've been giving the Ganesha chant to everybody. Om, Gangar, Patai, Namo, Namo, Om. That is going to help you uh, in case you are having some problems in your uh, uh, with your health because Rahu is in your sixth house it will definitely take care of that also uh, you have to be very careful while driving in case there is some kind of uh, you know litigation involved so this will actually be a prolonged decision so make sure that you are quite um, adequate or quite um, well equipped with the lawyer and all all those issues that you are going through so things will get streamlined, all right? So for student natives, also very good time. Maybe some start of education also takes place. You might 
scored a little less because of Mercury and Mars combination, but definitely you will be very logical. You actually know the subjects. So it's not about the marks. Never run after the marks. Take care of your financials. Take care of your mouth region. Coming to the next sign, that is Capricorn. For Capricorn natives, moon is going to be in your 8th, ninth, and 10th houses. So this can bring about some transformational energy in you. You're going to be understanding the surroundings around you. You'll be feeling now uh, who's who. You are going to be uh, actually understanding what's happening around you. So all that is because of moon in the 8,000, that to the new moon. So you will get illuminated. Your thought process will get illuminated. You will be doing things which are actually helpful to you. Some new um, job profile that you're going to be making, you know, you'll be changing and, you know, maybe joining another department also quite likely. Saturn is as it is looking at the Venus and Venus being the Lord of your fifth, the Yoga Karagraha, the 10th. So when Saturn is looking here, so it is double the impact of this position. So what is, what is it going to get you at? You're going to rise in your profession. You're going to be getting promotion in case you're looking for. Definitely, I have to see the personal chart of yours for all those readings. But surely, there is some kind of change which is anticipated with this moon and Venus aspected by Saturn. So surely, you will be making certain positive decisions and changes and definitely they're going to be paid off because your bhagya is with you your luck is by your side because of mercury in your ninth house the luck lord is in the ninth house you don't get into that it's the adventure zone because mars is also there so don't just get carried away you know that let's plan a trip let's plan some uh, road trip or something like that something weird and something adventurous avoid okay um for student natives, definitely a very positive way. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going to be doing really well in their education and they're going, they're going to be sitting for some exams also right now and they're going to get the success. Jupiter is looking at your fifth house, house of competition. So all the success and all the very best to you guys. Okay. Coming to the next sign, that is Aquarius. So for Aquarius natives, this week is full of some good news coming your way it, the whole week you know back to back something which is definitely going to be positive because mercury in the eighth house is not considered to be bad saturn is in your 12th house being the lord of the 11th <coughs> being the lord of the first and the 12th in the 12th house so this is definitely going to be giving you some kind of growth prospect you're thinking of getting connected with the overseas people more foreigners more um so this is a very positive time uh, when Venus is your luck lord, you know, is in the luck house. So you will be having a lot of support of the divine. You will be doing things and suddenly you will feel that everything is done already. You only will be doing, but it is not you only alone. doing. There is a force which is helping you to do things. So this week definitely is very positive. Don't get into any kind of arguments or the ego clashes this week. It can lead to some complications in your relationship, but very good time for the um, exterior part that is the uh, job earning socializing all that you're going to be doing uh, but you're not going to be focusing more on your family life so you have to spend some time this week with your family as well and um, in case you are into uh, if you are a student so this week will bring about some new changes some new uh, subjects that you're going to be starting you'll be choosing something new uh, or maybe there will be more than one subject that you have you pick up you're quite confused and now that clarity has come to you that, okay, I should be doing something uh, something more than the conventional education, all right? Uh, good for progeny, childbirth, and in case you have to go in for some, uh, uh, you know, documentation, you have to sign some documents and agreements, do it before Mercury goes retrograde. I've told you in the previous video also on Mercury in Virgo sign, all right? So this is definitely a good week. 
some problems related to your workplace. I can see that with Ketu there. So Ketu and Rahu, you know, they stay in a particular zone for 18 months. So we cannot just completely write those 18 months off or the 29 months when Saturn stays in a particular zone. So we cannot just categorize, you know, a particular major transit position of uh, the outer planets, you know, in these zones. So because they are here for longer duration. So we cannot just uh, say that Jupiter will give excellent results the whole 12 months long. No, it gives mixed results because of your Dasha, because of your uh, you know, the other transit positions, the moon's interaction, you know, you feel that today I'm feeling very uncomfortable. Saturn was all, all, already there in the 12th house, but today I'm not able to get that sound sleep. Maybe moon is there with this Saturn. So that is why you feel that, you know, you're, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of uh, thought process, many thoughts going on in your head you're not able to sleep. So that's the reason Moon's transit works wonders and Moon's transit actually gives us the maximum result. That's how you should actually interpret your horoscope also. See where your other planets are and when Moon is transiting over those, then it will give you those kinds of results. Moon over Jupiter will give you expansive energies, positivity, some growth prospects on, your, on cards, something, you know, which is positive. Moon over Saturn will give you some kind of anxiety. You will feel restricted. You might not be able to finish off the task or go out. All those things can happen. Okay, that's how you should interpret. Anyways, for Aquarius, this is a very positive week. Divine grace is with you since uh, your yoga karagraha is in your ninth house, the luck lord. Okay, very positive week as it is. Coming to the last sign, that is Pisces. For Pisces natives, Moon is going to be in your 6th, 7th and 8th houses. Little tough week, I would say, but not completely. We should never write off the uh, you know planetary positions completely. They're, they give mixed results. So Moon, uh, there is a new Moon in your 6th house. So this is the time to start anything new, something which you have been waiting for. Uh, loan, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, you have to st start a court case or you have to start a new, um, you know, treatment, medical treatment for yourself or healing. So you can do that when sun and moon are together in your sixth house. A very positive uh, start. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is some kind of uh, anxiety that you are going to be having at the place of work with the seniors, with the authorities. So you, you know, you, you feel quite emotional about your workplace and then, you know, you get... Uh, some something backfires and you feel that there, this should not have been the case you shouldn't have done this or this shouldn't have happened so you feel quite emotionally charged up at that time mercury and mars are in your seventh house moon is also going to be there so this can lead to some relationship communication in your relationship even more initiation of a startup some business mercury is in its own zone after all so you will be pumping in a lot of money in your business also maybe you know so this is definitely a very positive start of uh, you know middle of the week also in case you have to make any changes in your career uh, your uh, you know some kind of modification some kind of pattern change to it now because you are going to be more communicative and you're going to be communicating in a very different manner, your refined manner. So don't lose your cool. Don't let this Mars energy get, um, you know, on top of you, the argumentative view. So just lie low. Things are going to be getting better with time. And uh, with Mercury in your, uh, you know, Mer Man, uh, Mercury and Moon also being in your seventh house, this will give you some kind of emotional bend of mind towards your relationship. You will be very passionate in your relationship. Uh, Venus is as it is in your eighth house and moon is also going to be there. So this can give you some uh, aggravated passion in your relationship even more. So finding some good connectivity with your um, in-laws, your people around you, getting into a new relationship positive but yes there is a lot of anxiety that you would be having this week so you should chant om gangan patay namo namaha to come out of that because we have ganesha chaturthi also you you must not forget on the 10th so bring the ganesha home and then you know you see how things change you know how much peace you get because of all this all right so this is what is the week looking like and i hope you all will have a great great week ahead Stay blessed, stay happy, always. Have a great Ganesh Chaturthi.
ओम तत्सुख